ャッチャと片付けるぞ。Hey everyone, this is e t o s i c h e and welcome to another episode of e v a n i c a So in this episode, we're supposed to be capturing a new bobo. So、uh, yeah, and here I, met, here I am in a battle with a new bobo, and I just checked that new bobos can be found in land slot. So that's why here we are, I, I have this new bobo. So but I wonder how, how, it's, how it's going to work though. But well, Kev did say, yeah, Kev did say, let's get this taken care of. So I guess we just attack them. Okay, so、um, this. Right, and right, capture. So, is it like that? Okay, there we go. Alright, l cut it. I knew I was the best. Spectacular, phenomenal. Shortly after they beat the ghost, Catherine sucked it up with a modified magic vacuum. Oh, he m o r e Gross. It's all s p o o c h e d up, it's right there. Where did you have to pick a vacuum where the third storage file is transparent? Oh, damn. <laughs> Shut up, I bought for the suction. This was expensive. So transparent vacuum is cheaper. Anyway, if you let this out near the zombies, you can expect it to follow them. Okay. And they usually fly, right? It's easy to spot them, too. I guess. What's up, Tiny? How, how is this going to help us? I'm not exactly sure how it's going to help us, but I guess we'll find out. Kind of small. I think it's about average for a new bobo. Yeah, but we need a bigger one or we're gonna lose it in the forest. Just use hard work, determination, and some convenient ranger skill to figure something out. <laughs> Don't make me go through the hassle of catching another new bobo. Did you say that, man? Are there bigger new, new bobos? They all look the same to me. There might be, but well, we're gonna find a bigger new bobo. Hmm. I feel like I've heard something about giant u b o b o s before, even before the、uh, mega monsters, but I don't think so. Boa mentioned them when we spoke to her in Lancelot. Something about some u b o b o festival. Oh, right. u b o b o festival in Lancelot? Oh, right. I never know. He w o r s h i p e d u b o b o s in. I think he was Safiri. Okay, so that's where we'll be going to. Good memory. Yes. I remember that when she brought it up, I wondered how much new bobo stir fry you could make from a big new bobo. I'm not a fan of new bobo stir fry. I'm not a fan of eating ghosts. <laughs> new bobo stir fry is actually made from new bobo. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it just looks like one, I guess. The party decided to, to go look for a big new bobo in the city of Safiri, in the Republic of Lancelot. So,、uh, can we teleport there?、Uh, no, Safiri is not a. It's not a city we can teleport to, we have to walk there, okay? So I'll be see you, seeing you at Safiri in a bit. Okay, so we are now outside Safiri, so let's go. Is there going to be another Nubobo festival? I hope there is. When the party asked about the festival, the Safiri elder began to speak with a look of nostalgia on his face. And there's voiceover, so am I going to see another H scene? <laughs> Nowadays, whenever I hear voiceovers, I'll think about oh, there's an upcoming H scene. But it's not all the, all the time, but still. <laughs> Are there giant new bobos? Oh, too cautious? Okay. The government considered it s a n c t u a r y We need to look for the president! <laughs> I forgot his name. It, yeah, it's an old man's name. Yeah, the president. <laughs> okay, so let's check 
大きいヌボボを呼ぶ手段が有害指定を受けたんじゃよ。I'm full because its thing is too big. We need a new bobo that's really big. Can you put on the festival for us? Okay, what? Anyone can just、um, like, organize the festival at any time? New bobo ga hitsuyo jat. Well, I guess by festival, I think it,、uh, they, meant, they actually meant like a summon, yeah, some kind of ritual rather than a festival. Oh, yeah, if you treat them like gods, maybe you'll be against catching them. それは別に構わぬし祭りができるのならわしらだって行いたいのじゃが Well, but the elder did say it's a matsuri, so festival なんだよ、はっきりしろよ私たちで協力できることならなんだってしてやるぜ Okay, it's seed incoming, for sure <laughs> And it involves a girl ヌボボを呼び出すミコ様がいないんじゃ当時は報酬を積み立てて用意したりじっくり交渉して選んでいたんじゃが。メイドン、そうです。メイドン、キャビアニガー、おわん。ミコ、それって、仕事じゃなきゃダメなやつか。ヴ<笑>ァーチン、アミン、ナノマイ、ナノエステスワイフスアヴァーチンス。あ、おそ、そう、はお。うん、いや、そんなの関係ありやせん。BG BG beautiful women hot yeah all my all of Esther's waifus are hot Are you sure any one of you will work? The elder looked over each waifu and greet, but when his eyes landed on Ramius, they opened wide. Because Ramius clearly has the biggest boobies. <laughs> so, boobies matter. Okay, size matters. Well, for, for, this, for this festival, anyway. <laughs> so, or is it because this elder is pervert or see the boobies so big? Okay, this is the one. Doesn't matter. It's just you are really sexy. That's, that's all that matters. Good taste. <laughs> What do you mean by that, Kev? Oh my god, this rich and Kev pushing all the responsibility to Ramius. Even Guri Gura. Though I think Guri Gura is being honest. I'm sure you'll be fine. Only. Only when Esther says you can do it, okay. Then I was okay if you say so. But the other wife was no. <laughs> Wait, there's another rule. Ah, am I supposed to do something? I'm happy to help, I guess. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna be another sub. Yes, yes, yes. Daddy. Yes. オディストサムンアジャイアンのボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボボ What do we have here? Whoa! The elder quickly gathered the townspeople together and got everything ready. Safia ni class, hotondo no yatsu ga atsumatte iru njanai ka? Fire population of the town. Huh? Esther looked at all the people and noticed something was off. He said it was about growth, but everyone here is a grown adult already. <laughs> Unsavory. Decent idea, okay? Oh, you waifus, rich, good grand cap, you betrayer. <laughs> Push all, everything to Ramius. Ramius gets picked. Then he's like, oh, okay, okay, you can do it. <laughs> good luck. What? Um, what am I supposed to do? Oh! ミコ様に夢中になって説明しておらなんだな。いや、プレイスエクスプレイン
間もなく現れる巫女様にユーボーボとなって襲いかかればよいだけじゃよ。What? What? <笑> I still need to turn into the b o b o and then a s o u t her? Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Wait, turn to the b o b o Yats l a v a Onna ga ski na kuse ni yoji ni bukai. Dagara, dari ka ga nu bobo ni natte anjen da to mise t s k e r u hitsyo ga aru no ya. Interesting. So there's actually a spell to turn a person into a nubobo. <laughs> And that will encourage all other nubobos to come, including giant ones. I think it's literally a transformation. What? NDS? <laughs> What's this? It's a hammer? A dragon? Is it given by QD? Uh, I'll die! Oh shit! Wow! I don't want to turn to a new bobo! Why wouldn't I? I still evade and grab the elder heads. Hammer branding shing. Army resistance. Oh, what? <laughs> the crowd cheers? Just then the townspeople cheered. Oh, has. Did she go changing? I mean, did she go to change or something? Huh? Oh, there we go. Gosh! <laughs> the eldest hammer landed a direct hit on Esther's head, knocking him out. Okay, so Esther is now a. No bobo. Oh, what's this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is this? <laughs> Why does Ramius look like Jesus or something? <laughs> like Jesus being hung on a cross or something? <laughs> What? <laughs> um. <laughs> and never mind that. Well, Ramius is like wearing transparent. A, a transparent gown. A transparent garment, basically. <laughs> so, and what's going to happen? Is, is the Esther now, who has now turned into a Nobobo, going to assault her, like, going to just pierce through the private parts or something? Okay, but, but nice that this garment is transparent. <laughs> and, and Ramis is all for it. Okay? <laughs> Let's see what goes down here. For the, for the purpose of the festival, Ramis was dressed in a transparent white gown, or, or, or garment, yeah? And strapped her across in the main square, but she was inexplicably calm. もはや私の体はアスタ。ラタイに近い格好で注目にさらされようと恥じることはない。No shame in being seen virtually nude, okay? But if 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 Esther wasn't here, then what? You feel embarrassed? You feel shame? そう。何ら恥じることはないのだ。Okay. Ramis convinced herself by willing it to be so. Boy. I don't think it's insults though. Oh, they're saying you're beautiful, you're beautiful, Miko. You know? Yeah, Miko. Oh, you're a beautiful Miko. Very beautiful Miko. Very beautiful maiden. Yeah? Yes, you're beautiful, you're beautiful women, Bijin. Because you're、uh, well, pretty much in the nude. But、um, the people's admiration got Rami's heart thumping. What? I'm not sure about exhibitionist, but okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the instant Ramis became conscious of the stairs directed at her chest and, you know, some part, her body hit the lap. The elder was met with cheers from the whole crowd. 
you'll be fine, Wai. Wait, are you, are you gonna like pour the wine on her or like let her drink it? Oh, pour it on her? The girl skirted something around me with a spray bottle. That, this sounds like. This seems like. Lubricant. <laughs> Is she drinking it? Okay, so it's just drink the wine. You, you sure it's just wine? I think it's wine to make her horny or something. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it's definitely some kind of, well, some kind of, uh, what you call that? Yeah, something to make her turn on, make her hot, horny, kind of liquid to make her horny. <laughs> As if the alcohol alcoholic mist was enough to intoxicate Ramius, she instantly looked drowsy as an intoxicant. Nap time, Soma, you're talking about Esther? Pan. Whoa! When Esther woke up, he found himself changed into a new bobo. That doesn't make me feel better. Okay. I can't do that, just... You mean that in the sexual sense? Okay, so basically I have to like, maybe like tear off the gown or something? You can count on me for that. That's the probably assaulted Ramius. <laughs> Ramius, let's do it. Oh, here we go. Okay, we can't really see the thing, but <laughs> Esther really looks hilarious as a Nubo. But okay, <laughs> okay, okay. All right. <laughs> he ran his Nubo hands over her body. Yes. Yep, it's me. Yeah, 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 it's me. Yes, I really am. I'm transformed into a new bobo. What? Does this seem like I'm lying? I guarantee it's me. As proof, I still targeted Ramya's sensitive spots. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, I know what feels best for you. Only husband. <laughs> Alright. I'll be sure to. His incorporeal body allowed him to ban at normally impossible angles, such that he could freely stroke all over Ramius. Wow. Oh, Ramius, I'm touching you with my whole body. I've never experienced this before. As the quivered with glee, then further wrapped around Ramius. Just like a real new bobo. <laughs> well, it's true that Esther is the successful king, but the audience offered sincere praise and approval to Esther. Did they like it? They have, they have to meet their expectations. But I feel like something's missing. The pleasure of coiling an incorporeal body around Ramius was like nothing he had ever experienced. But he needed something more, like something to go inside Ramius. That's what could it be? Oh yeah, my thing! I'm sure Nubobo has a thing too, right? 
to remember his most precious comrade, one he never one that he never wanted to forget. I'm sorry. I can't believe I forgot you until just this second. Esther was deeply ashamed that he had neglected such a vital part of himself. Ah The Bobo Body, take the form of an vision! Ramius, let me put this in you. Alright, here goes Ramius. Oh, what, what? Uh, what? <laughs> um, yeah, but it's censored so I can't really uh, show you what this is. But basically, it's connected to that, that arm. You see that arm? <laughs> no, I think that arm is just the arm. But I think the thing that's... I don't know how the thing is like... I think the thing is really long. The Nubobo's thing is really long because it doesn't seem to be connected to the Nubobo, but okay. <laughs> okay, but you, you can't see it's censored, but yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Ramis, you good? Tighteningly so. The overwhelming stimulation somehow caused Ramis' bound and immobilized body to jump. Oh, oh, Jota. You okay? Alright. I'll take you to the limits of pleasure. I'll take you to heaven, the heavens of pleasure, okay? Alright, got it, Ramius. It got beyond the limits of pleasure, Ramius reefed and took everything Esther did to her. Esther felt the deepest affection for her as they shared the ultimate ecstasy. Something they likely wouldn't experience again, unless Esther doesn't mind transform getting transformed into a Nubobo again. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you call a rainbow? <laughs> what? Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, where am I? Okay, so basically what happened, I did skip a part after the, the act has, has been done. Uh, basically, after the act has been done, uh, Esther, well, well, his mind went blank, and then and then he transformed back into a human. And I'm not sure what happened to Ramis. Ramis was was drunk. Yeah, she was drunk because of the wine. I'm not sure what happened to Ramis, but it seems like Esther has been transformed back to back to human. Yeah, after the the act, yeah, they now you know <laughs> transformed back to a human. Yeah, in an instant. So let's see what goes down here. Yeah. Oh. You mean Esther was out, out cold for some time? I guess Ramius was also out cold. Yeah, I mean drunk from the wine. When Esther came to, he was looking right into Grigra's concerned eyes. <laughs> awesome, right? That good. How about Ramius? How was the festival? <laughs> they still are? Where's, where's Ramius? Oh, okay, you're a newly wet husband. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't sleep. <laughs> Okay, newly wet couple. Is that what they meant by growth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely get the people here turned on so they can have more babies and all. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So the elder picked Ramius because, well, she's the sexiest. 
Oh, you're back to normal, nice. But Miss had already changed back into her regular clothes when she came stumbling back. Did you keep it? Um, you can keep it if you want. I mean, you can bring it back home. Can tell her. I can never tell Ramis she was picked because of her sexy body. Oh, nice. We gotta catch her one. Uh, we gotta capture one. Nice. They're not dangerous, are they? Nice. <laughs> well, now that you mention it, now that the elder mentioned it, yeah, they do kind of look like sperms, yes. Bad. <laughs> Gotta ask the government for that. Right, let's capture one. Yeah. Can you fight Ramius? But what's wrong? <laughs> of course you do. Of course you looked cute. Of course you looked real cute. Always the perfect word to use. Kawaii, yes. And the girl will be turned on. <laughs> She's shivering in joy, okay? What? <laughs> With the power of love, okay? Excited for battle, okay? Um, <laughs> don't kill it, though. We're trying to capture one, not kill it! Party attack one of the giant Ubobos that have been drawn to the city. Oh, we have to fight? Okay, so we have to fight it. I guess it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I think I fought a giant Ubobo before, haven't I? So, right, so let's just... Yeah, we just need to defeat it. Oh, but it's quite high HP, but not, not a problem. Okay. Go, go, go! Alright. Um, here we go, half defense. Alright. We're gonna use light arrow. Oh shit, what the heck? The giant will go five times in a row. Uh, I think probably I should use defense plus off. Okay. Oh, nice dodge. Nice. Good job, Grigra. Okay, uh, just. Ah, okay. uh, let's see. Going to like maybe death punch. Okay. Uh, just my BP charge first. Uh, yeah, BP charge first. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, gonna boost attack here. And light arrow. Okay. Oh shit, that, that hurts 1000 plus damage. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, the strong attack. Okay. Uh, long attack here. And we're gonna do light arrow again. Alright. Nice counter. Okay. Actually, I want to use volley attack fire, but I think I'll just not my first. Yes. Okay. Alright. Okay, nice. I think we win. Alright. Okay, okay. Die. Oh, not dead yet. Come on, die. Okay. Nice. Alright, caught it! 
The defeated giant Nubobo was instantly sucked up by Catherine's magic vacuum. Fighting any bigger and you have a problem. Are you saying that that the giant Nubobo is a garbage? Okay. Now let's hurry back to Hamden. The party successfully captured a giant Nubobo to bring to the herb garden. All right. So we got a giant new bobo, and yeah, I think yeah we can now go back to the the entrance to the poison forest. So I'll see you there in a bit. All right, so we're now back outside the poison forest. So yeah, we're now going to go in. Let's go. The party returned to where they had previously lost sight of the zombies and waited for them to arrive. You know this poison land reeks. The stench is so bad that it's kind of messing up my nose. This has to be through your mouth till you get used to it. Hmm. Well, yeah, but it's still bleeding in poison. But I guess it's not that harmful enough, right? Yeah, to to yeah to to that kill us. So, but yeah, it's always good to breathe in through the mouth so that you don't have to smell it. Hmm. We grass right. My throat is dry now, but the but the smell is less brutal. <laughs> the people in our street tell me how to live and are poison. They grew herbs around here, isn't that right? Yeah, the herbs could neutralize poison. But they're way too bitter to eat raw. Even if you be proof and see by comparison. But they say bitter medicine is good. It's, it goes to show that the medicine is really effective. Yeah, they say. Ugh, that's really bitter enough. Oh, that's the zombie? It comes to the zombies. Must be retreating from another fight with the knights. Wonder how Noshin and the knights are doing. Probably still hanging on. Hopefully. Alright, yes! Giant Nubobo! Ike! Catherine enthusiasti enthusiastically shouted and yanked the lid off the magic magic. Oh, you're exactly right, Chef. Oh, there we go, the, the giant Nubobo. The fleet Nubobo gave a vaguely spiteful look to the party. Before joining up with the zombies heading into the forest. Oh, nice. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, it really stands out. Oh, we could even take some detours and still not lose the zombies. Okay, nice. Alright then, after them! In pursuit of the zombies, the party stepped deeper into the poison land. Right, so we're going to the dungeon, but it seems like there's going to be a, another cutscene. Or not, okay. Yeah. So it's like, meanwhile. Oh! The party followed the zombies through the deep forest to an open area. Oh, I thought we were going to like go through a dungeon or something, but apparently not. Okay. I think this is the exit. Looks like we made it through the poison forest. That's a street over there. It's not so much a town as like a settlement, and it looks burnt down. So yeah, this city is is done for. So that's sad. Ah. Seems the zombies are going straight for Horse Ring. Hmm. Alright, let's see what's going on there. The party pursued the zombies to Horse Ring. Right, so, okay, now they were here. I just want to see a good look at the map. I can't, no, we can't really see. I just want to explore here a bit. Right, yeah, the chests. Oh, Element Rod plus one for Rich. Alright. So, uh, okay, now let's see what else we have here. Oops, I didn't mean to go back. Okay, alright, let's go back. Okay, let's see, we'll, we'll just uh, explore a bit first. Oops. Ah, shit. <laughs> didn't mean to encounter a hidden enemy, but okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Flying Spice Kick. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, hide left punch. Okay. Uh, Asia Storm. Right. Uh, I'll use this. Die. Okay. 
Alright, uh, let's see. Aethers. Okay. Alright. Okay, uh. Oh, nice. Oh! Calf Master BP Service. Or. The whole party BP plus one. Oh, this is really useful. Right. Uh, this is really useful. But the only thing is, it costs. Or BP for Kev herself. Uh, I think it's all worth it. Like, yeah, especially. But this is 4 BP cost, but since everyone gets BP plus 1, uh, this skill is effectively cost 3 BP for Kev. So, okay. This is useful. Yep, definitely getting this. Uh, let's see who else. Yeah, okay. Right, let's see. What, what's this spell? Well, over here. I think. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Let me just double check some things. Just want to make sure the run exterminator is there. Okay. Uh, let's see another. Oh. Okay. So just get one more treasure. Level summon. Level shop summon ticket. And what's this? Notice board. Bulletin. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. I guess. Yeah. Let's go to. Um. Oswick. Oh. Who treat cops? Okay. Uh, yeah, but I think this should be maybe just a slightly daily version of Rotten Cause, but yeah, okay. Let me fight these monsters first. Alright, so, okay. Right now, outside. Uh, Oswick. I'm not sure if Bolognius will be here. He might be, but let's check it out. Let's check out the city of Oswick. Okay. Holy shit. This city of Oswick looks even worse than the... Eden Harbor. Eden Harbor was also in these ruins, but at least it looked bright, like normal daytime, right? But this one is not just in ruins, but the sky is very dark. They have purplish and all that. The party peered into the town to find it was already in ruins. Shit. This is awful. Knew it. The zombies must have been the people of Wall Street. Huh? Hey, Kev, this isn't the time. Kev? I think you mean Grigra? What? Sorry. Wait, what? what what's going on? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay. I think because Kev said the zombies must have been the people of Austria, then that scared Grigra, so. Yeah, hey, Kev, this. You shouldn't be saying that. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Esther, I have to see if there's any survivors. I hope there are. Where's Grigra? Before Grigra could dash through the village entrance, Ramius held, Ramius held her back. Why? Whoa, the heck? Oh shit. Pack of zombies. At the entrance to all street, zombies were standing in line and weep and wriggling, wriggling. Their rotting bodies rubbed against one another. The mass of flesh produced a cacophony of groaning and teeth clattering. Uh, this is really sad. Their motor skills are so screwed up that they've created a traffic jam. Better stay away. If the whole group attacks, we'll be dead in seconds and we, will even, we might even become zombies. Regret what's in the town. A bunch of little huts. They're past those. That's the Ranger Academy. Oh, okay. Or what used to be the Ranger Academy? They put it way off in the middle of nowhere. Nobody would have guessed, would ever guess. So, that all? Yeah, it's a pretty empty town otherwise. Doesn't seem like we can look inside without going over the wall though. Lonely is dangerous! They monster proof the wall by putting them with daily poison! So we have to go through the front entrance? I'm gonna have to look inside myself. No, we're coming with you. Maybe you can get over the wall, but it's nothing but zombies inside. I can't let you go in there by yourself. Oh, hey, there's survivors. Sorry, but they aren't. I doubt you need me to tell you that very blunt, Kev. <sighs> it's been days since the zombies appeared. Do they have any emergency shelters or anywhere else they could survive that long? No. My first priority is to find out what the zombies are after. No need to do something stupid and put ourselves in danger. That's right. That's true though, Rich. <sighs> Grigra was hesitant but eventually nodded in agreement. Yeah. 
You're right. The stuff just outside the town too. Let's see if there's any zombies there. Alright, lead the way. I can do that. First let's check around the bulletin bar. The party asked Grigra to lead them around for an investigation of the town's surroundings. So, yeah, there's the bulletin box there, so... Okay. What's this place? There's a big bulletin board over there. It has all kinds of info about the town. What kind of info? Stuff like what herbs the drug companies are looking for, or info about dangerous monsters. I see, so if you're busy working out in the garden, you don't need to go all the way back to town. But there are no people here, right? So if you look at the bulletin board, maybe you can figure out what weird, when weird things start, start to happen around here. Uh, zombies here too. They're looking around the bulletin board. Oh. <sighs> What's wrong, Grigra? I think I'm okay. Let's leave the bulletin board then. Let me take, let me show you to the nearby garden, which is the one just north of here. The party followed Grigra to go check on the garden. Uh, no, actually it's south. Okay. Here's the garden. We cultivate herbs that were bred to be easy to raise. Okay, you need selective breeding. Making medicine requires a stable amount of herbs. So you can just rely on what grows in nature. Grigra looked around and cheerfully talked about the garden. Unfortunately, with nobody left to tend to them, the plants have had returned. Oh. Selective breeding sounds impressive to me. Is it that easy to do? There'll be apparently two lots of trial and error. They always talked about how hard it was. They were overjoyed when they finally got results, but now... Yeah. Plants have died too, or uh, There are zombies lurking around here too. We need to be careful. Yeah, the zombies are just circling around the garden. I wonder. Rira? Sorry, nothing. Let's go to the well next. Okay, the well. You can draw water from land this poisonous? I mean, I guess they could have lived here otherwise. There might be zombies there too, so be careful everyone. Rira suspected something and directed the party towards the well. Yeah, he might have, she might have something on. Uh, the well should be just... Yeah, just north of here. Alright, so let's check out the well. The party arrived at a well far away from town. Everyone used the water from his well to wash dead off the herbs. And for drinking, maybe? Well, on Poison Island. I'll be curious to see how the water quality is. I wouldn't stop you, but that looks inadvisable now, because they're zombies. The well was surrounded by masses of, squir of squirming zombies. If you try to pry your way through them, you will probably end up a zombie too. You have mentioned how much you wish you didn't have to sleep. Not if it means being a zombie! Yeah, that has to be right. I knew it! Huh? Knew what? Esther, let's go to the base fair now. I'm sure you'll be packed with zombies too. Alright, let's go. Esther saw no need to question Grigra's confidence, so they headed to the main square. Alright, we're going back to the city of Oswick. Let's see if the teleport magic for Oswick has been activated yet. So, yeah, as you can see, Oswick is just a... Actually, Oswick is just a small village. So it's a small village surrounded by, or rather supported by the herb gardens, by danger, zombie, outbreak. Or at least we can now teleport to Oswick. Yeah, so... Okay, so let's go back. Okay, Oswick. Still tons of zombies. If we got attacked by all those, I doubt we could expect to leave. I do not catch their attention. <sighs> the party quietly left the town. Hey, wait, what? I thought we were supposed to go to the main square. The main square is not the the, 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 the city. Uh, wait. Let's see. Uh, so where's the main square? Oh, the main square is there. Okay. Oh, there's voiceovers now, so what's going on? The party reached the somewhat open part of the forest and was packed with zombies as well. Okay. But all the zombies did was inaudibly groan and wander around. Riva, are you ready to explain? Okay. At Esther's request, Rigra started to elaborate while she watched the zombies move. You mean move? What the heck is zombies movie? <laughs> Has the translator watched too much? Too many zombie movies to to miswrite move for movie? <laughs> Seriously? You watch too much zombie movies! <laughs> right, yeah, watch the zombies move. Zombie, you're not the much no stotachua. Snuman, you're not the much no stotachua. 
They're doing what they did before they died. Huh? Machi no hito tachi no i t i n i t i wa keji ban o miru koto kara hajimate. So ko de shuka kusuru yak so ya kiken na monster ga inai ka o shirabe runda. Oh, so they're just going about their usual things? Like zombie form. So yu ba. So, did they like come to the. come out. come through the poison forest to attack the, the church members and all? Is it because it's like they, they think that those people are monsters? So, t h e y Okay. Mm, yeah. Then they took the herbs to the well. They were Kono Hirobawa. She got to wait a stota to that smate, Shuka Kubutsu, Kokan study, Nanigenai Hanasu, then non bidito Sugosu Basho Dio. Then, what, how do you explain the zombies who come through the poison forest to attack the people? Like, like I say, maybe it's they think of those people as dangerous monsters. Basically, the zombies are just following their old habits. Some of Shokoni, Hora, Mite. Okay. Ah,、uh, wait! Before Esther could stop her, Greengrass sprinted into the horde of zombies. Okay. But the zombies paid Greengrass no mind, instead, continuing to minder. Huh? Why? They just attacked us in the forest a moment ago. Yeah, so they're monster hunters. <laughs> Not the monster hunter world, okay? <laughs> Because they're not ordinary civilians, they're monster hunters. Simple, because they think of them as monsters. Okay. There's another one. Another herb garden, the one that's very north, right? That, that I went to, yeah, the one that was off limits. Uh, so, are you saying that we shouldn't actually attack, attack the zombies after all? That the church members should actually stop? Yeah, I think that should be the way to do it. Just leave them alone. And then the zombies won't attack. よく泥だらけになっちゃったけど、薬草を持っていくと偉いねって。Okay. あの切り株、あそこにいつも座っているおばあちゃんが、いつも僕たちにこっそりと焼き菓子をくれて。She not a zombie. Uh, I mean, sorry to be blunt, but yeah. Okay, but okay, so basically, yeah, don't have to attack them. Just leave them alone because these zombies are actually not. They're not really evil per se. They're just doing their, going about their regular, their old habits. Oh, what? A zombie was sitting on the stump. His gender was unclear from his physique, but based on his clothes, it was just barely possible to make out as a woman.、It、must be that old lady. Ah. All this you have to blame Bolognius, that stupid guy. Yeah. Grigra. All because he tried to resurrect his daughter. He did, I think he did manage to resurrect him, but only maybe in zombie form. Yeah, but in the process, it caused the, all the people in Auschwitz to turn to zombies as well. When Esther hugged Grigra, she buried her face in his chest and cried. Yeah, what if you actually find out later that Bolognius was behind this and he was your former principal and, and he is the one behind this and he is part of Snake Quest? That would be even more of a shocker for Grigra. Yeah, even more of a shock. 
ゾンビに宿るのは魂の残りかすだ。町の奴らがゾンビになって今も苦しんでいるわけ。Well, yeah, that's true. At least they still have a tiny bit of their souls. So it's not like they're 100% dead, you know? うん。でも、でも。They're definitely not their original selves, their old selves anymore, but yeah. But what's happened ha happened. 町の人を思うのなら、彼らの亡骸が人を襲わないようにしましょう。Yeah. 話を聞く限り、ゾンビの行動を妨げなければ大丈夫のようだからな。Yeah, just let them do what they're doing. だ,だから、泣いてる暇はないぞ。うん、そうだね。<笑>ありがとう、キャスお姉ちゃん。<笑> Yeah, trying to console g r i g a even though it's kind of awkward, but she tried. Always like this, Cap. You know, it's fine. That's, this is just being you. <laughs> Oni chan. But you're blushing. Alright, let's go tell Noshin and the Knights about this. The party decided to leave the zombie ridden town square and return to Noshin's camp, yeah. We have to tell them about it, so no need to attack them anymore. Right, so. Yeah, so I'll be seeing you at Noshin's camp in a bit. Oh, nice. I got it. Cap got another new skill called Ramia's Preference. Oh, nice. Ramia's Preference. Earlier it was Esther's Preference, right? Now it's Ramia's Preference. Nice. Okay, I、yeah, gotta give it to g r e e to care for that. But,、uh, see what other skills do I have.、Uh, ambush, I think I want that one.、Uh, this one is also useful, but、uh, let's see.、Uh, maybe I can take this one out since I hardly ever use this one.、Uh, so, yeah, give it to Ramius so it should be buff as well. Ramius preference. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm almost at the camp, so yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's now talk to Noshin. The party visited the base on the front line and relayed what they had found out in Austria. My god, I had no idea they wouldn't attack if we let them alone. Ridiculous! I can't believe it! But wait, from everything I know about zombies, it's kill or be killed. Well, that's what I thought too. That's, but that's in the movies. When Esther described the situation to everyone, they, they looked shocked. Well, I know how you feel. Every story or manga or whatever tells you, and movies, <laughs> that zombies kill people indiscriminately. Maybe it's hard to believe, but the zombies aren't after anything. Okay, I trust you. Let's test this out. Right. The zombies are here! No, she nodded just as a shout informed everyone of a zombie attack. Okay, let's not disturb them. Oh, we have to hurry! Have the defense line retreat for the time being! Retreat! Watch back to camp! At Noshin's orders, the battle weary knights obediently left the front line. What's this? The zombies ignored the knights and sluggishly passed them on their way into the forest. Are they going to the second herb garden? Yeah. They were just worried about their herbs. And the zombies were the people of Austria after all. Even in death, they are dedicated to their work. May Mother Eve's love lead them to a peaceful rest. Now she offered a solemn prayer for the zombies. But this doesn't exactly solve the problem. It might be harmless, but you can't just leave zombies wandering around. That's true. But this does buy us time. Now the knights should have a chance to rest. You rest too, folk, now she. I'm not certain. What if something happens? It does none of us any good if you overwork yourself. Return to Hamlet, please. Alright then, you take care of things here.、Uh, um. You want to ask if Princess Pra can visit the hospital now? I take it? <laughs> That's fine with me. Just come by the cathedral when you make it back to the city. Okay, so we are now. We'll be going back to Hamlet. Noshin bowed to the party before returning to Hamlet with the jet knights. But the zombie issue remains unresolved. I assume we can take care of that by beating the zombie suit at least. Oh, oh. Then we need to find the zombie suit first. So that means if we defeat the zombie suit, which I think 
is most likely in the possession in Bologna's position, uh, possession. Yeah, in Bologna's possession. Then I guess these zombies will finally be able to rest in peace. Yeah, so. Now first, let's leave Kra what she wants. Better have the living before we bother help helping the dead, yeah? <laughs> yeah, true. With Pope Noshin's assurance that the hospital VC was allowed, the party returned to where Kra was waiting in Hamlet. Alright, so. We just teleport back to Hamlet. Okay, so. Yep, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to call it an uh, episode here. Yeah, yeah, this is a good place to stop for this episode. So in the next episode, uh, we'll be going to... Actually, we'll be going to Hamlet first to talk to Kra and Noshin, yeah, the Pope. Yeah, uh, get Noshin to uh, grant, cast a spell on uh, on on Kra so that she'll, she'll be able to access Horatio, yeah, the, the hospital town without any problems yeah uh, but after that after we've done that i want to also like explore explore around here more of this area around hamlet just to see what else is here yeah and then uh, then after that before we hit to yeah horacio yeah so that's going to be the plan for the next episode yeah so i'll see you next time okay then <laughs>